from a policy perspective, I think it's outrageous that most companies don't even have bereavement policies. Um, and those that do, you get five days if you lose an immediate family member. Um, that, I, I don't know anyone who, you know, some people want the escape, but I don't know anyone who feels like they're able to move forward with the grief of losing an immediate, immediate family member after a week. And so I think we, we need to be much more generous with these kinds of policies. I think more broadly in terms of the struggles people are facing, one of the best things that I've encountered is a manager who said to a team, it's okay to call in sick. It's also okay to call in sad. And what I loved about that was not that HR is going to take that and say, you now get five sad days a year, and then if you <laughs> don't use them up by December, they're gone, right? <laughs> it was the message that mental health is part of your health. And the normalization of just as you would take some time off if you got the flu or you broke your ankle, we want you, if you're depressed, if you're burned out, if you're languishing, to, to take some time. And I think it's good for leaders to say this. It's even better for leaders to model it. And I can't think of anything more powerful than a leader saying to a team, I'm taking a mental health week.